gentlemen, the star of Bazaar, John Biner. This is bizarre, a brand new show. Exciting, different, innovative. You've never seen these things before. You'll never see them again. <laughs> it's gonna be fantastic for you folks across the country and in other places. <laughs> I'd like to begin with something different and new and exciting, my impersonation <laughs> of a guy trying to say impersonation. <laughs> my impersonation of Ed Sullivan, something you've never seen before. <laughs> Right here, right there in our show, Kentucky. We have our Alfred from United States and Canada. We have the singing nuns going John. to dance for you. We have the dancing, singing to elephants for all the United States and Canada, Alfred. That lady's going to try to smile for you. And it's going to be just fine. It's too wonderful. She ought to just have a better time because life is too short. Oh. You know what? What? Can we get on with the show? Get please? on with the show because we're right here. We're doing the show and right there. We're going to do the show. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. What are you doing? You seem a little depressed tonight. What's the problem? Oh, it's Billy. He was sent home from school again today. Oh, no. Oh, this is the fourth time this month. Oh, what happened this time? I don't know. They say he has a behavior problem. A behavior problem? That's a normal nine-year-old boy. Right, and they think that we're responsible. Typical. Blame it on the parents, huh? Honey, would you do me a favor? What's that? Would you have a little daddy-son talk with him? Oh, of course. Maybe we overlook something. Maybe we can find something out talking to him. Sure. Okay, I'll call Billy. Okay. Billy! Your daddy wants to talk to you. Honey, I'll fix dinner. Oh, hi, Billy. Hi, Dad. Hi. You know, this is the fourth time this month you've been sent home from school. They say you have a behavior problem. What could you be doing at school that you're not doing here? Dad, I'm no different at school than I am here. I'm never late. I have my homework done, and I don't talk in class. Gosh, you're right. You know, they must have it in for you, Billy. I want... <laughs> You know, son, I know I have a lot on my mind. I don't spend the proper amount of time with it that I should, but I know if you had a behavior problem, I'd, I, I'd have noticed it. I mean, <laughs> you see, your mother and I, we don't ask a lot of you. Just that, uh... Huh? Hold the rocks. Straight up with a twist, please. Yeah. <laughs> we don't ask a lot of you. It's just that you, you know, you be like us. No more, no less. I know that, Dad, and I've tried my best. Mm-hmm. Cheers, son. Cheers. Level with me, son. Just what is it they sent you home from school for this time? They said I was swearing in class. Son, you don't swear. I know. The whole thing's a bunch of horseshit. <laughs> Come and play with Billy. Heck no. You little twerp, if you're not home in five minutes, you're looking at a divorced woman. <laughs> I gotta go. See you guys later. When you find a new school, call me. I'll be at the track. Oh, no, you won't, Billy. It's cold out there. You'll catch your death of a cold. Here, baby. You take this with you. <laughs> Hey, 
be a problem, my eye. There's a normal kids. Come on, it's time to feed the baby. Oh, honey, we can't. Why? Because the store's closed and I gave Billy the last bottle. Oh, he's got the car, Billy! <laughs> 